What's up guys, Peter here from Reviews on Anything and today's topic is gym shoes. Now looking around in your average gym, you see a whole variety of footwear. Anything from running shoes to tennis shoes to those fiddly weird toe shoes. Um, there is something there for everybody, which might be great when you're just hitting your stepper class or the treadmill, but when you're actually lifting heavy weights, you want something a bit more specialized. Now lately, uh, a company called Riderwear has been sort of in the fitness news uh, quite a lot because they're sponsoring athletes like uh, Big Rami and Kai Green. Uh, and coincidentally, I decided to uh, upgrade my gym shoes as well. Which brings us nicely to these very, very red uh, Riderwear D-Max. Now, um, I've made a review video of Automix uh, gym shoes before, which are remarkably similar. We'll actually put them side by side in a little bit. Uh, but these promise to be uh, a bit more higher quality, a bit better material selection and a bit more stability for your foot. Now as you can see this is the very very red version, obviously there's a whole variety of uh, colors available. Uh, but I've been trying these out for uh, the past couple of weeks and I can actually tell you right off the bat already that they're really really nice. Uh, they're not perfect though, uh, so we're going to dive in, take a closer look, obviously I'm going to put them on for you uh, and we're going to see what is what exactly. All right, here we are up close with the Riderwear D-Max in a very bright red. Now, let's put one to the side and have a tour around. As you can see, it's a very streamlined shoe. Obviously, this is the high version, um, which is actually, let's start right there. Uh, it has padded support for your ankle and around your foot, which is quite nice. Then it has a patented leather uh, heel design. And inside, there is uh, a lot of microfiber going on, meaning uh, that the padding on the inside keeps your heel and your foot nice in place, which is exactly what you want when you're doing heavy lifts. And heavy lifts is really where the shoe comes into its own. It's, uh, you know, you can see that the sole is super thin, so this is clearly not for any kind of running treadmill uh, kind of work. This is really a shoe designed for lifting, and right away actually claims uh, exactly that as well. Um, with the flat sole, you're really close to the ground, you have really good contact with the ground. It's almost like lifting in socks. It's like one level up from socks, uh, it's that thin. Uh, so you have a really stable platform to lift from when you're doing squats or deadlifts, for example, which is exactly what you want. Thanks to the high top, you can see there's plenty of room uh, to make it as tight as you want. Uh, so that is especially nice when you're doing uh, heavy squats and deadlifts. And the shoe is really designed with that in mind. So you can make it nice and tight around your foot and your ankle. And with the thin sole, you have a good contact uh, point with the ground and a stable platform to lift from. You can see that the sole is uh, getting quite dirty already. This is the light sole, obviously. Uh, they also sell shoes with black soles, if that's more your kind of thing and you don't want this. Uh, personally, I don't really mind the color of my uh, soles, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, it's nice and grippy, uh, so you won't slip and slide around even when there's a bit of sweat on the floor, which is nice. Now, you can see that there's uh, quite a lot of leather going on here on the tongue of the shoe as well, right away logo. And then in between you have, uh, I think that's canvas, like material also on the other side. Uh, it's overall a quite a high quality shoe, which it should be for the price because it's definitely not cheap. Uh, but it's well made and it's, uh, it's well put together. So far, uh, no loose threads, no nothing uh, going wrong. So that is quite nice. Uh, things I don't like about it, not that much really. Obviously, you know, price is always something, uh, you know, nobody likes to pay for stuff. Uh, but for a quality product like this, I don't really mind. Uh, I don't really care much for the shiny leather back here where the logo is also placed, uh, you know, for me it would have been plenty to have it in this sort of matte red, but hey, why not, it stands out quite a bit. Um, the red color in particular, I don't really have any preference for the color of my gym shoes to be honest, uh, but I quite like this, uh, it looks quite stylish. They could have done with, uh, you know, black lacing maybe, but you know, I think this looks quite good. Now obviously, we're gonna have to make the comparison with these. These are the Automix Stingray shoes, and as you can see, it's effectively exactly the same shoe. Both on the sides, on the bottom, uh, and even, you know, the logo placing on the back and on the tongue of the shoe is pretty much exactly the same. So where's the difference? Um, well, the material difference is apparent, obviously, that the right away uses quite a bit more leather here. There's no leather involved here at all. It's all sort of uh, canvasy and a lot of fabric going on. Uh, making the shoe overall, this uh, I've worn this shoe for half a year. I buy new gym shoes every half year because uh, I use them so often. Uh, and as you can see, it's quite you know a flobbery uh, shoe. Obviously, when you get them fresh out of the box, they're a bit stiffer. Um, but because it's all fabric and you sweat in it, and I use them so much, uh, you know it all softens up 
over time. And uh, with the leather involved here, especially around the heel area, uh, I don't think this will soften up that's, uh, that much. Uh, obviously with the fabric part here on the front, you know, that's going to get soft as well. Uh, but this is really where you want your stability. Now the auto mixes have some extra canvas or extra layering here to make it more stable, which it certainly is. Uh, but also that will get, you know, kind of flobbery over time. This is a very good shoe though. I've used Automix uh, shoes for the past uh, six, seven years uh, for pretty much all my uh, gym work. And so this is actually the first time I'm switching to a different brand to try it out. Uh, I have to say I, I love these Automix shoes. They're uh, really the bread and butter of what I wear in the gym every single day. Um, so far though, I have to admit that the um, right wear shoes have certainly not disappointed. Uh, they're uh, equally, if not more comfortable than the Automixes. Uh, they look even better, I think, uh, especially with the different kind of lacing uh, that they use. You can see that these are flat, which always has a bit of a cheapy feel, I think. Uh, so it, it just overall feels a bit more like a high-end shoe. Uh, it's slightly more expensive, not that much, uh, but for that I think you get uh, a bit of a step up in quality and a bit of a step up in performance. Um, we'll have to see how this will look over time. So let's say half a year from now, we'll have to see if it's uh, you know as flubbery, if it's holding up as well. Uh, but so far, I, I like these very much. And I think if you take your lifting serious, uh, either shoe will do actually. Uh, without a doubt, you can get the Stingrays and be very, very happy with them. Uh, but for me, I like the Ride Wears quite a lot for what they are, uh, even though that there's a slight price difference. Uh, but since I use them every day, that's easy for me to justify. And I think the quality overall feels quite nice. Uh, the way you know it sits uh, on the floor and on your foot is pretty much exactly like uh, the Automix shoes. Uh, but overall, the shoe I think is a bit more uh, high quality and uh, a bit better put together. But yeah, like you saw, they're pretty much exactly the same shoe in the end. So you'll be happy with either one. This is Peter from Reviews on Anything with a look at the Rideaway D Max in very bright red. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Happy lifting! Please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. That helps us out a lot. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers!